Hi friend, today we shall discuss on education and choices as a student. A wise person knows there is something to be learned from everyone, so I hope you can learn at least something from me. First looking into the meaning of education, according to Diogenes, a Greek philosopher, young people for the young people, education is a controlling grace, and for the old people, it is a consolation. For poor people, it's a well, and it is an ornament for the rich people. Meaningful life through education, looking into this meaningful life, what is meaningful life? Meaningful life is not just a long word. It must be a life with a purpose. This means that people must be healthy, People must be able to develop their talents. People must participate in society. And they have to be free to achieve their goals. So all this meaningful life could be achieved only through education. Uh, let us look into the role of intelligent quotient and emotional quotient. How important it is. Intelligent quotients, people having these high IQs, they are first fast in learning, they are talented. People having high EQ, emotional quotients, they have more advantage because IQ get you to the job and EQ lead you to promotion. So getting job is important but keeping on with the job is more important. How do we prepare a preparation to education is? Education ensure us to prepare for heaven and life on earth. Heaven, it helps us learn deeper the word of God and motivate us to serve the Lord with commitment. And education helps us fight ignorance and poverty. Uh, looking into our former president of India, APJ Abdul Kalam, education gives us a wings to fly. So to be a successful person in life, we need education, we need to dream, we need to plan, we have to work hard, we should develop positive thinking, we need to be interested and dedicated in our work. Educated men are as much superior to uneducated as the living are to the dead. This is what Aristotle, who was the father of Paul Science, said. Education in humans, uh, our body needs healthiness, our soul needs development, our spirits needs God's work. What Yukta Muki, who was Miss World 1999, said, uh, Is ignorance a blade? This seems to be a question asked by the judges. Is ignorance a blade? And what was uh, her answer? Her answer was, if ignorance is a blade, then why do we seek knowledge? So how important it is education and knowledge. Living with confidence. Uh, to become a successful person in life, we need to live with full confidence. So, uh, waiting for exam results, uh, what do we say as a student? Sometimes, I may pass or I may not pass. I shall decide the subject, streams, college only after the result. But this should not be, because you did your exam yourself. You know for sure that you may score this, 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 this and that. And you have to decide you will be taking up science or arts. And you have to say, you have discussed with your parents. You'll go to Silong, you'll go to Delhi or for your higher studies. So you did exam by yourself. Uh, we should not use, I may pass, I may not pass. So looking into these pictures, ele elephants, uh, when we look, when we turn into this picture, it, uh, how many legs does this elephant has? Sometimes it's confusing, but uh, we are sure that animal has four legs. So choosing the right career to save yourself from hell, Choosing the wrong kara will lead you to hell. We should not forget this. 
in life two most important things is choosing the right career and choosing the right like life partner you have to ponder over this uh, you know yourself who you are you know your family conditions you know uh, which color suit you most you go for the subject that you find most interesting you should not go for the subject that you scored highest mark in the examination your interest is more important than your scores knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdoms as the saying goes and uh, when our parents quarrels at home on the quarrels uh, because of our fees maybe because of our needs because of our materials that we need for our education uh, we have to choose for the subject which is our favorite sub subject we should not just choose the subject from the advice that we got it from our friends we must see first the taste that we have and the subject that interests that we find most interesting so our life is our choice and what do you see when you close your eyes you just close for a moment what do you see you see nothing or you see darkness this is uh, what it matters in life and there is n no luck and nothing blind on earth so we can prove that uh, even love is no more blind uh, if God is love and love is God then God is not blind and love is not blind so it's your m choice to live your life after maximum satisfaction let us look into some quotes Napoleon Bonaparte, who was a military leader in French Revolution, uh, said, Luck always benefits the stronger force than the ill prepared. And Thomas Jefferson, who was the third president of USA, said, I'm a greater believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have it. So we consider too much of the good luck of early bird and enough bad luck of the early worms. A life is a choice and when we turn into the Bible uh, Adam and Eve chose the apple and Jonah chose to be thrown into the sea and Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane Jesus said go let your will be done but uh, friend what will you say about your career your life is your choice we are not born winners we are not born losers but we are born choosers so it is going to be our choice the best way to predict the future is to create it a Brahm Lincoln said we must create it now for our future and our career when we talk about career sometimes it is just your job is it your job is it something that you do to make your living is it what do you do for money so a career means uh, uh, it is the journey that you take to reach your goal throughout your life including the progress and actions taken by a person through his lifetime it is a lifelong process and defines where you will stay in your life and uh, percentage counts these days low percentage in exam result will have no meaning in today's digital world at least we must score 70 plus 70 and above right career with high percentage mark go together to reach your goal so good academic record is a must in today's competitive world uh, when we compare about the weapons or a single barrel or the cartoons with m16 or ak-47 so when we go for war with this cartoons or single barrel, we don't find confidence, right? But if we are equipped with uh, this uh, good weapons like M16 or AK-47 or whatever, sniper, we find confidence. It gives us more confidence. It is like uh, having a good percentage, we have more confidence. And if we have low percentage, in times of interview we have less confidence 
So choosing the right career, the first step in finding the right career for you is knowing yourself. What you have to find is what the right career is for you. The most scientific way is to go by your hobbies, your interests and your aptitude. Which, with parents' permission, I, we, I just want to mention, in this digital age, parents' suggestion may not always be true. Do you agree? You may not, or you may. The choice of subject like uh, in medical or engineering or nursing or after class 12 like uh, SSC clerk, higher secondary level or NDA or whatever, after your graduation, uh, your BA, BSc or BCom, uh, there are a lot of uh, services that you can offer like uh, IAS or IPS or IFS or IRS and there's a lot but uh, you must know who you are first whether you can be administrator whether you can be in arms or in defense whether you can be in medical service first uh, knowing ourselves whether we can be in that position or not is important so uh, William Shakespeare says that Whatever, uh, to achieve our goal, to become a successful person in life, we must first plan. So, William Shakespeare, England's national poet, said, If you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So, we need to plan first. So, uh, we must just do it. Uh, we should not try things. What you want to do, just do it. So just do it is a tagline, if you remember, a tagline of Adidas company. So there is nothing based on art. We are looking for the better one. Living life with a plan, looking into inflation which is uncontrollable. A family monthly income trends uh, starting from 1940 to 2020. In 1940, if a family income is rupees 10 per month, then family could manage well in the year 1960 if the family income is rupees 100 still family is manageable in 1980 if family income is rupees 1000 still family is manageable by the year 2000 if the family income is 10000 per month then it's manageable by 2020 if the family income is 1 lakh then uh, family is manageable this does not mean that if family income is not one lakh then the family will die of poverty it does not mean but uh, how to live life accordingly so the inflation is uncontrollable so if we are not become a successful person in life then we'll be living a miserable life this is what uh, we find it that planning is important to become a successful person in life. So, uh, in uh, this teenage or in this class 12, class 11, there may be many obstacles like uh, uh, in career, there are two career. If we say between, there are like love career, uh, between love and career, let us say, you choose love and then. You both can sit on the footpath, holding hands, then uh, carrying a begging bowl. It sounds romantic. Exactly. Now choose a carol. A carol in love, it's becoming a hindrance to reach our goal. So, true love never hurt. It really cares. So in times of this, uh, situation like in class 11 12 uh, love it's becoming a hindrance an obstacle that we cannot ignore and we find it difficult to manage or control with our study precaution is the the boy who can cut his finger find easy to cut others fingers so when someone loves you and threaten you that if you don't accept his or her love that he or she is going to cut off 
his or her finger then it is a trait it is not a love so true love never hurt but it cares so there is no time to have boyfriend and girlfriend when we are in student life uh, here the saying is love flies away to an open window when the kitchen pot is empty so first we must prepare for life uh, having a boyfriend and girlfriend is a secondary we should not be very serious about this first we must prepare for life to become a successful person what Abdul Kalam our former president of India said dream is not that which you see while sleeping it is something that does not let you sleep so this is this sounds very interesting and uh, for a student the things that does not let you sleep you keep studying thinking of your aim in life thinking of uh, becoming a successful person you can't sleep at all at night this is what uh, Abdul Kalam call it a dream so American businessman uh, come philanthropist said like this the W Clement Stone action acting we, we must act because no dream can be translated into reality without action because without action a good decision become meaningless instead of blaming darkness like a candle stop blaming instead take an action american motivational speaker zig ziglar says if you can't dream it if you, if you can dream it you can achieve it so whatever whatever can be dream can be achieve it looking into one reference uh, from bill gates bill gates said that he fails in uh, some subjects in his examination when he was in college but his friend passed in all subjects and he said after some years his friend became an engineer in one microsoft company and he said he was the owner of that microsoft company so winners don't do different things but they do things differently but we are teammates we don't have guts at all we went to the forest with a rope to commit suicide but a snake was hanging on the branches of tree we cancelled the program we came back home so we are timid we have no guts at all even to commit suicide so looking into one reference uh, for a boy it's easy to leave a 40 to 50 kg girl but we find quite difficult to leave a 14.2 kg gas cylinder we kick on the road we roll on the road we never leave up so this is about our interest and commitment so we need to have interest in our work in our study we need to be committed thinking of our futures to become a successful person in life we need to be very positive you are so positive that uh, you set an alarm when you are not sure at all that you will wake up the next morning you set alarm you'll wake up at 5 a.m. 6 a.m. you are so positive even when you are not sure that you'll wake up in the morning so positive thoughts positive outcomes India 2020 visions according to Abdul Kalam a former president of India by 2020 a person must possess or own a paka building he should live in a paka building he should have a car a luxury car he should 
A person should have a TV or LCD or laptop or computer access to 24 hours internet. A person must have ATM card, debit card, credit card, pawn card, and a person must ensure his life. So, my friends, live life when you are alive and die not when you are alive. I hope you understand. Live life when you are alive and die not when you are alive. So, it's our choice. Looking once uh, what Bill Gates said, If you are born poor, it's not your mistake. But if you die poor, it's your mistake. Our parents m might be poor, but it's not our mistake. But when we die, if we die poor, it's going to be your mistake, my mistake. It's going to be our mistake. So, comparing uh, aeroplane and rocket, so we know that rocket is very fast, flies so fast, and aeroplane is slower than rocket. So once aeroplane asks the rocket, friend, why do you fly so fast? Well, what did the rocket answer? The rocket said to the aeroplane, yes, if your bum, if your buttock will burn like mines, you'll be faster than me. That was the reply from the rocket. This means that uh, uh, the quotes by APJ Abdul Kalam, if you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. So to become a successful person in life, we have to suffer a lot. We have to commit. We need interest. So everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. So the same thing, everybody wants to get job, everybody wants to become an officer, but nobody wants to study. This is a problem. In life, or when you board an airplane, in life you are either a passenger or a pilot. It's your choice. It's our choice. Martin Luther King once said like this, if you, can, if you can fly, then run. If you can run, then work. If you can work, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. You have to keep moving forward. We should never move backward. But we should always move forward. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So your future is your choice.